my honor to welcome Prime Minister Netanyahu to the White House. In the long sweep of Jewish history, there have been a handful of proclamations by non-Jewish leaders on, be on behalf of our people in our land. Cyrus the Great, the great Persian king, Lord Balfour, President Harry S. Truman, and President Donald J. Trump. And you, Mr. President, Mr. President, you've done it not once, but twice, with your bold proclamation on Jerusalem and with your bold proclamation today on the Golan. Your proclamation comes at a time when the Golan is more important than ever for our security, when Iran is trying to establish bases in Syria to strike at Israel. Mr. President, just as Israel stood tall in 1967, just as it stood tall in 1973, Israel stands tall today. We hold the high ground, and we shall never give it up. Ha'am im ha'golan. That means the people are with the Golan. But thanks to you, we now know that there are two peoples who stand with the Golan, the people of Israel and the people of America. So on behalf of all the people of Israel, thank you, President Trump. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your friendship. And thank you for all you have done to make the alliance between America and Israel stronger and greater than ever. So this was a long time in the making. It should have taken place many decades ago. Maybe you can give this to the people in this room. Thank you.